Hello everyone, it's Justin here from Meridian Vocational College. We're focusing today on the unit Prepare Seafood. So if you turn to your learner guide, I'm going to explain to you about uh, section one. Okay, so when we think about seafood, we're, we're looking at different uh, categories of, of seafood here. And as you can see on the board, I've, I've written up two main categories. Um, from there, there are some uh, some more categories um, that we need to, to be mindful of. But I'll go into those um, in the next video in a bit more detail. Um, so there's different ways that we can actually purchase our seafood. It can be fresh, it can be preserved, and actually it can be frozen. With uh, fin fish, this is one of the categories. We've got a section here of fresh water and salt water. So, Common varieties of seafood that you'll see uh, in Australia will be brim, trout, and barramundi. So barramundi is an interesting one because you can find barramundi in salt water, um, and it can also be in fresh water. Um, often when it's in fresh water, it's actually farmed. The flavor is quite different. Um, often people don't like um, the flavor so much of fresh water because it can take on a little bit of a muddy flavor. Um, so they opt for fresh water. This salt water varieties here, we've got uh, whiting, flathead, um, mulloway. These are really lovely um, fish that are really common throughout um, all of Australia um, in different regions, different states and territories. Um, and again, we always have to think about them um, seasonal. We can't necessarily get uh, whiting, yellowfin or King George whiting year round. This is more of a uh, yellowfin whiting is more of a summer species. King George whiting is found mainly throughout winter. Um, garfish, garfish is another um, very underrated uh, saltwater fish. Um, and this can be found mainly throughout the warmer months, uh, especially here in South Australia. When we go to this section here of uh, shellfish, we have two main categories. We have mollusks and we have crustaceans. So mollusk is actually an interesting one because from there we also have something called the uh, cephalopod, which is the category there of uh, squid and octopus. Okay, so they're just a little bit different again, but they're actually under this category here. So common mollusks that you'll see in Australia will be oysters, scallops, mussels. Again, in South Australia, we are so lucky. We have some of the best oysters, some of the best mussels. Um, in all of Australia and some might say all over the world. Crustacean, lobster. We have an area of robe in the southeast of South Australia which has uh, beautiful rock lobster. Crabs. We have the blue swimmer crab which is basically any jetty that you go to in South Australia whether it be Glenelg, Brighton, Henley Beach, Grange. Over the su summer months you can actually catch uh, blue swimmer crabs. Perfect, three or four of those uh, for dinner, for your family, is a beautiful meal. Then we have freshwater crayfish. So in this category we have yabbies, yabbies and marin. So yabbies look like a very small little lobster and they're actually only found in uh, fresh water. So again, this is something that you might be, um, you might recognize or you might see before on a menu whilst you travel throughout Australia. Seafood again is very popular, very popular to put onto a menu. A lot of people in Australia, a lot of people that are traveling through want to try and want to taste the different seafood that we have on offer. Let me tell you a little bit about how you actually can select uh, your seafood. So let's look at selecting fresh um, seafood. Let's start first of all with selecting uh, fresh fish. If you've ever been to a seafood market, there's such a great energy. Um, there's just a beautiful smell of fresh fish um, and people love going there early in the morning um, to select the, the fish um, to put on the menu at the restaurant. So think about if you're the chef going there down to the Adelaide, uh, uh, Adelaide Central Market and you're looking, we have three different seafood shops down there. What are you going to be looking for? First of all, if you're looking for a whole fish, 
So you might be looking for a whole flathead or a whole uh, yellowfin whiting. First of all, you've got to be looking for the eyes. So they need to be a really bright, um, plum, firm um, looking and they need to be uh, jet black pupils. Okay, You don't want to be selecting a fish um, where the eyes are looking a bit red and a bit bloody. Also the gills are really important. So you want to be selecting a fish that has bright red or a little bit pink um, gills. When the fish starts to age and deteriorate, then that's got to be showing signs of spoilage and the gills are going to be turning a little bit more of a, of a grey colour. Also, we want to be looking for the flesh, okay, and sort of observing how the flesh looks. This is both in fresh uh, whole fish or in actually portion fish. So we want to make sure that it looks, um, there's no blood spots, it looks really suitable to the actual variety of fish that it is. Um, for instance, if you're selecting motherway, should be a little bit of a light white grey colour. Um, rather than a dark red, okay, that shows signs that the fish is starting to deteriorate. If you're purchasing and wanting to buy a whole fish, often the scales will, will be left on. So you want to make sure that they're plentiful, that um, they have a nice sheen and a nice shine, um, and an even covering across the whole fish. Often you can ask your fish hunger to clean this scale and gut the fish for you. Um, this saves a big messy job than doing this at home. So think about that when you're purchasing your fish at home. Also the odour. Okay, so the smell of the fish should be similar to fresh uh, seaweed. Okay, it should have a really nice fresh uh, smell of the ocean. Okay, otherwise fish tends to, um, if it takes on a little bit of a muddy smell, um, it's, it's showing you that it's starting to, to become more than three or four days old. Okay, so always fish, seafood, fresh is best. In terms of the skin, let's look at something like the rainbow trout, which you're going to find in the fresh water. Often this uh, type of fish has a little bit of a slime, a clear slime on the fish. Don't be too concerned about this. This is actually something naturally produced by, by the fish, and that allows um, that trout to swim against the current um, as, it, as it hunts for food. So this is actually naturally occurring. Again, check for all those signs. You want, it to, you want those eyes to have a nice um, a bright color, nice and bulging. Um, you want the gills to have a beautiful red color, slightly pink, um, and that scales, if they're on, to, to have an even um, covering throughout the whole body. Let's look just at a little bit of detail about um, some different ways that you can buy and purchase um, frozen seafood. So often seafood that is frozen might be calamari, it might be um, crustaceans, prawns, shrimp, lobster or crab. So actually here in South Australia we have a law that prawns need to be actually frozen there and then on the boat. Okay, so. This is to present, uh, to, to uh, stop against any form of uh, bacteria starting to grow in the shellfish. Um, so this is actually a law. So you'll find uncooked, raw, um, what they call green prawns, um, coming from the area of Spencer Gulf. Um, these are not cooked. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 